This story begins unlike any other typical day in my entire normal life that might sound a bit strange as usual. You see, I was an average teenage girl who lives in a town called Dawn Point, which is now a newly modern civilization. I have four friends who've been with me on my side. And one half friend who's being bullied by three mean girls in my school which was a problem that we sometimes have to deal with. I even also have a family. An older brother, a little sister and of course my parents who are archaeologists. They first met back in college. Until they both graduated, gotten married, traveled all over the world working together and those two have been a couple ever since. When my parents came back home from their latest archaeological trip that early afternoon, they brought in some of the most rarest ancient artifacts they found in the Middle East somewhere and took them into the museum for the exhibit base on ancient Arabian culture. Until one fateful night, a sinister genius scientist with his mystical talking cat who wanted to get his hands on very powerful magic so he can take over the entire world with a vengeance. Then he sent out a group of unknown thieving crooks as they've broken into the museum and stolen most of the very old priceless objects in the exhibits. Including the ancient Arabian one that my parents just delivered. That's when one of the stolen items the robbers accidentally dropped and left behind their getaway is a very old brass oil lamp the police had picked up as a clue they found. So the police gave the lamp to my parents and let them have it. But when my family and I were about to head back home, a little dog who's a stray brown English cocker spaniel appeared in the middle of the street right in front of us. So we mostly decided to keep her and took the dog with us. Until later that night after I have already gotten my hands on the lamp, I was polishing it clean when suddenly something very strange happened. A magical genie who was a little boy imprisoned in the lamp. But that's not the only part because our dog that we found can actually talk like a human being and those five gnomes outside our house. So, I asked the genie if he really has the power to grant any wish for whoever holds the lamp that could hopefully help prevent these certain problems. I seriously don't know what's going on, so I used the first wish was to seek help from a mysterious woman who's been giving us some information about the mythical creatures and magic that's been around on Earth for a very long time. My second wish is from the boy genie was to give me more wishes from him just in case I need them. My next wish is to bring all the stolen artifacts back into the museums where they belong. As the evil doctor was really angry. And when I came back to school the next morning, I met a good-looking guy who was the new student. And for the first time in my life I was somehow engaged with him like I just can't even handle this sort of pressure that I was unable to shake the feeling off of me. I was very shy and completely nervous the way we were staring until we both bump into each other. But when he found out about the high school dance tonight, he begs me on wanted to go with him. And so, I accepted his offer. When all of a sudden, the new guy from my school came to my house standing right at the front door as he showed up in his fancy tuxedo. And offered us ourselves a ride to where the dance was taking place. And when we finally arrived to the high school dance in the gymnasium, everyone was having the most enjoyable time of their lives thanks to the boy genie. Well, almost everyone. But when I came home from the school dance, things went from better to worst as I was having a very horrible time. Because someone had broken into my house, ransacked the place and kidnapped my family leaving behind a ransom note that I found on the floor. Whoever did this were the ones who've broken into the museum. And they were going to do something really bad that'll harm my family unless I give them the lamp. But when I was going to the evil doctor and tries to rescue my family, it turns out that I was captured by the doctor's supporting henchman who took the lamp away from me. Then he threw me into the dungeon cell along with my family and locking us all up in there. And from what I didn't know that the boy I've been with was actually the evil doctor's nephew who betrayed me. Because his insane uncle knew about my family when he saw the news that gives him the information he needs. 
so he used his own nephew as a spy to infiltrate to where I live just so the doctor can get his filthy hands on the lamp. And way before that, the doctor knew my parents back in college until everyone was laughing at him behind his back and left without a trace ever since. After me and my family had finally escaped, the evil doctor was defeated. I've gotten back the lamp from him. Change everything back the way it was. Made everyone forget the whole thing about what was happening. And used the last wish for the little boy genie to be free from out of the lamp as the genie turns back into a grown man again. But the story is not over as my journey continues in a brand new chapter along with my two magical friends. Where there's more magic, mysteries, monsters, mayhem and mythical creatures waiting to be discovered. And special hidden places where no human mortal has never gone before. Trisha Lace